Early, early saying is FM21 wants a little ass kissing to the players. Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 5 of Staying Up, our FM21 beta save with Leeds United. And we're doing well. We are exactly mid-table, so we're doing all right. Uh, we're certainly on track to stay up. Taking a look at the competition, uh, 22 points. We continue to drop points, however. Taking a look since the last match, uh, Man United drubbed us 4-1 to one at Old Trafford. Fulham, we pulled a 1-1 draw. Jack Harrison got a rare goal and a 0-0 draw with West Ham. Struggling to find goals. That is our biggest problem. Uh, I am contemplating going to a 4-4-2, but I just, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we haven't messed with it yet, so I, well, today might be the day to do that. So I've gone ahead and put in a 4-4-2 as a secondary tactic. We need to train at it for a little while, so eh, we'll see how that goes. But that's what's going on here. We're back for Blackburn in our first FA Cup match today. Third round. So we are going to put in... We'll do that. And I'm going to give Casilla a start today. Rodrigo. Stroik's already in there. Charlie Cresswell, maybe? Stroik could come up to the defensive mid. Do I want him as a halfback or do I want him as something else? Yeah, we're gonna I'm gonna move him to a ball winning midfielder. Let's do that just to try something different. And we're gonna make him a winger on attack. Because that'll keep him out wide. Rafinha's been doing well. You know, let's make him an inverted winger. Cutting inside. We've got these guys wing back. We can put them on attack, get them further up the pitch. We do have support here, so let's try that. Just something different, and see if we can pull something out. All right, we are in... Are those red kits? They are. We're Okay, we're in the third kits here. Rodrigo. Oh, tackled in the box, and that's going to be a penalty. He went right through him. That's going to be clicked. Mateus click. Oh, and he beats the keeper. The keeper went the right way, but we get the goal. 1-0, seventh minute. Don't think we need to watch a penalty again. Let's encourage them. They didn't like that. Luke Ayling. Shackleton. Rodrigo bounces it off the crossbar. His eighth of the season. And it's 2-0 in the 18th minute. A nice cross in by Shacks. Oh, Ayling with a poor throw there. Armstrong showing some pace. Long shot goes over. Kaminsky. Oh, we actually had somebody get a header on the ball. That's good. That was poor. Need to do better with those balls. Getting beat over the off the bar and I'm so used to Leeds being in white, I thought our guy got back there and was gonna clear it. That was brutal. Yeah, he just beat his defender there. Wow. 2-1. Uh, we are gonna come in and we are gonna fire them up, I think. They didn't like that either. Oh, look at Rafinha's touch on that pass. Shackleton 
breaks through, gets around people, finds Ailing on the overlap. That one's crossed in. Shackleton runs it down. Phillips out to Elioski. Crossed in. Phillips takes a shot from range. Koch plays it back across midfield. There's a nice through ball. It's Jackie Harrison and his fourth goal of the season. That was a nice through ball by Phillips. Just picked out the pass. Very nice. Long highlight there. 3-1. The throw in right from the corner. Oh. Seriously? He was off sides. Wasn't he? Yeah, they're off sides. It wasn't off sides. He certainly looked off sides on the frickin' replay. <laughs> okay. Well, aggressive. Far from pleased. And we are going to have to personalized position. No? Okay. Instructions. Mark tighter. Yes. And Mark Aiden Armstrong. Actually, Mark Stryker. All right. We'll see if that helps us any. Gee whiz. Got a lot of yellow cards in the defense today. We'll be making some substitutions in the back half of the field for sure. Focus. All right. They don't like focus very much. All right, Koch gets beaten by Armstrong. Knocked out. Looks like it was a goal kick, so that'll be good. That's curved in, and of course it goes right to their player. That's incredible. Elioski plays it back. Garcia lumps it out into the mid. Glitch and Shackleton get it into the attacking zone. Over to Phillips. Oh, nice through ball. Couldn't pick it up. All right, let's look at some subs here. Anybody performing really bad? And the answer is no. Although Elioski is not looking great. And he's on a yellow card. So let's bring... Let's bring Cooper in, and then we're going to bring Cooper into the middle. Now, Koch cannot cross. We're going to bring him back inside there. Cooper's passing is fine. Nobody else is dragging just yet. Tell you what, let's drop, let's drop Rodrigo back. We'll bring Bamford on. You know, let's give Christo a game. His coach called me up and said, you're not playing him enough. So we'll put him in there. 92% passing completion. But I think we need to do a little bit better. Whoa, I was waiting for that to go in the goal. A little heel pass from a set piece. And he did it without even looking. That was scary, especially with Casilla in the goal. <laughs> All right, Rafinha comes in and saves the day there. Drives into the lane. Ailing on the fights for the ball, but Barrington beats him. 
Oh my god. Oh, that was horrible. Horrible defense. Instructions. Let's mark tighter. As a Koch that we have. I wonder if that carried over with him. We're not asking him to mark a specific player anymore. So that must that must have disappeared. Oh no, okay, Mark Titer and we're gonna take him off. But I do want him to mark Titer. So even though we subbed out, it did keep him marking. So, Because I noticed Armstrong slid over a little bit. They didn't like to fire up either. Interesting. Christo's on a 6-5. So he's still not playing well. Let's move Christo over to the wing and bring Bamford on. See if that does anything for us. Demand more. Nothing. Nothing at all. So we're going to extra time. Wow. Come on. Demand more. Nothing going on. All right. Can we make a sub? I don't know if we get another sub here. We are... I'll tell you what. Phillips is really struggling. I'd like to bring Stroik in for him. I can make that sub. And Christo, he's down to a 6-3. Can I bring Costa on for him? Cannot do that one. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll bring Stroik in for Phillips in the defensive mid. Let's try to encourage him. They liked that. All right, so early, early saying is FM21 wants a little ass-kissing to the players. All right, so we have, I like this, because usually you don't see that. Uh, and I always tend to just leave it for the players to decide. But we do have at least four decent penalty takers. Rodrigo is anxious. Uh, cautious. Encouragement. I expect you to win this shootout. All right, well... Shootouts. And we don't have our best keeper in there. And yeah, that looked it. Armstrong, that's his third, so that gives him a hat trick. Does a penalty count towards a hat trick? I wonder. Mateus Click, uh, he just slides it in easy. Nice job. Kiko, I need you to make a stop here, sir. Yeah, he's got no uh, no vertical there or no horizontal movement whatsoever. Rafinha, uh, right into the corner. Deft finish. I kind of like the, the penalty structure here. Oh, by the way, um, I was doing a uh, contract extension. Of course, that time he actually moved to all the way to the post when it would have hit him right in the stomach. Rodrigo was anxious. He puts it in. I was doing a contract extension with Alioski. He's in the last year of his deal. And made the offer. And several days went by. And got an email saying that Another team was looking at going in for him. 
Bamford puts his in. Oh, this is nerve wracking now. And um, so I, there was an option. God damn. They go five for five. Kiko, you're horrible. Just horrible. I'm going to try to sell you in the window, I think. <laughs> we got Caprice. I could bring you up. Urente. <sighs> Spanish International can't even hit the target. Can't even hit the target. No, no. That's not what we're going to tell them. Complacent, eh? Oh, okay. Here's where you can uncheck. He played a 6-9, but I'm trying to get him over his complacency. But I'm not seeing anything. All right, well, you know what? We're going to we're going to leave that alone then. Oh, that's brutal. So we're kicked out in the FA Cup. Third round. And they wanted us to reach the fifth round, so that's going to hurt me a lot. A lot. And we did, we barely made expectations reaching the fifth round, uh, fourth round, where Chelsea knocked us out. We're just in poor form right now. All right, well, we'll be back for the next match against Newcastle here momentarily. Can Bamford play outside? Is he any good at that? He can cross. He is left-footed. You know what? Let's bring Bamford over here, and we'll bring Edmondson on. I've got Costa. Meslier will be back in goal. Alfie McCalma, maybe? Rafinha needs a rest. Ooh, how about... You know what? I want, I'm going to give Greenwood another start. Greenwood has looked really good for the 23s. And I forget where he came from. Arsenal. Yeah, we paid almost $2 million for him, but he has looked really good. So we're going to give him a start. We're going to move. I don't have any midfielders. How about Kenna? If I take off Christo... I can bring Kenna on. Kenna's got good pace. He's not the best marker. I really want Paveda out there. And then let's put Kenna on for Bamford. It's kind of a pretty heavy rotation. Edmondson picks up number 33. A lot of, lot of moving parts in this one. This is always one thing we worry about with Leeds is depth on the roster. Costa, a bruised knee, we'll ignore it. We'll keep an eye on him. All right, ignore it. He's doing all right. Can we encourage the team? All right, so they like encouragement, it appears. That appears to be a go-to button in the shouts in this version. All right, Dallas, out to Forshaw. He pings it from range, and that's his second of the season. 25 yards out on the effort. Wonderful goal, as the game tells us. Got to like that. All right, I'll sort it out, but I don't want to do anything right now, so just leave me alone. Yes, ignore it. <laughs> ignore means don't show it to me again please right isn't that what that means all the way across the field into Greenwood yes Sam Greenwood debut goal what a shot his first goal for Leeds and Costa what a move by the man with the gimpy knee Drives across, just a beautiful in pass. 
onto Greenwood's right foot, puts it across the goal. That is beautiful. All right, we're going to have to keep... Oh, my God. Is this a replay? No. All right, Cooper, blast that out. Off target. Ken is there. All right, we see him getting on a highlight on his debut. Shackleton into the attack. Into the box and just misses wide of the mark. Keeping an eye on Costa. He's doing okay. Greenwood did not come back for that ball. I think Bamford might have. Costa. Looking a little gimpy there. You know, I wonder, is there... I guess you'd have to go in and mark positions. But... Is to set up a man marking scheme like uh, like Leeds has. There's a save by Meslier. Let's tell him to focus down the stretch. All right, good clearance into space. Greenwood's on the ball, tackled away. Two minutes of stoppage time. Costa into the, oof, that wasn't good. Costa actually with a really nice first half, but he is nursing that knee. So let's talk to the coach, and then let's take a look at Costa. He is fit. I don't see anything injury-related that I can see here and it does say he's got a potential knee injury hampered by the injury so let's go ahead and take him off we'll put Harrison out wide marking passing let me give Tyler Roberts a go here let's give Tyler Roberts a go they make a halftime substitution as well. We're going to give them some praise in the early going. We are holding on to a 2-0 advantage at the half. Greenwood with a crack. All right, let's see. Anybody? Looks like Paveda's down. Dallas is down. Maybe Dallas. Dallas for Davis. Do that. Davis usually plays center or left, so. Shackleton, Forshaw. Uh, he found some space, but got tackled. Stroyett got beaten over the top. And Dwight Gale, his first of the season for Newcastle. All right, uh, let's change him to just a central defender. No, not stopper, defender. There you go. And you know what? Let's change him to a central defender as well. We're going to dial these guys back to support. And you can see I already hit a button the wrong way right there. You know, those were a little difficult to... I was looking at this, but probably my fault, but still. Greenwood had that early goal. Yeah, let's just stick with that right now. All right, Shackleton, Kenna. No, that wasn't very good. I saw where he was going, but he just didn't have enough or poor positioning. 
That was better. Roberts cutting inside. Forshaw finds Alioski on the overlap. Back to Roberts. Kenna! Kenna with a debut goal. I believe that's a debut goal. 20 yards out. Yes, a debut goal. His first of the season. What a debut goal means, right? So two debut goals today. That's incredible. Debut goals galore. Gotta like that. All right, let's let's tell him no pressure. <coughs> oh, and we are going to get a Newcastle highlight here. There's a good block. Shackleton's on it. Oh, he could not find the pace on that pass. Forshaw out wide. Alioski. Forshaw gets his pass picked off again. It's not being aggressive to the ball. Wilson. Callum Wilson, seventh of the season. All right, we're going to go slow the pace down. We're going to drop. We're going to drop here. And let's press a little, a little less. Yeah, you can't play those balls high to Paveda. He's so short, he can't do anything with them. Oh, that was brutal. Four minutes of stoppage time. There's a nice ball out to Roberts. Putting pressure on his man. Oh, good turn in. Oh, I thought we were going to have a clear shot there, and Kenna just botched that pass. I'm going to just say he didn't see that guy. So a 7-2 and a debut goal for Greenwood. A 7-5 and a debut goal for Kenna. He may have earned another place on the bench. Paveda, a 6-3. Cooper Stroik. Stroik, I don't know how he got a 7-4, especially when he was burned on that goal. Uh, we're going to go with the assistant coach. Highlight everybody there. And we're sitting on 25 points, 18 matches. 20 matches to go in the season. We are 13 up on relegation, but only three points up on mid-table, which is where we're expected. I do want to pop in. Costa's out for one to two days, so luckily that's not going to be a big issue. Euro 2, we're in there. Stroik is going to get a pay raise. I'm all right with that. And we end a six-match winless run. If we take a look, a couple of things. Finances. So you remember we had like $3 million, $6 million in the bank at the beginning of the season. We've been making about $2 million profit every month. And so our balance has been steadily growing all season. We're currently up to, we were at $19.3 million last month. We're going to be at $22 uh, six at the end of the month. So we're doing really well there, putting money in the bank, and we are secure now. Not rich, but we're getting there. And of course, uh, you know, we did see that, you know, we've had very little transfer budget this year, and that is one of the built ins for FM21 to reflect the COVID outbreak. So we should see a much higher, uh, transfer budget next season which we aren't going to play of course but you know the goal this year is staying up that's the whole job what else did we want to look at club vision uh they do have so i've got a b minus rating c plus with the vision c in matches c plus is on transfers tactics and squad so all in all, not bad. Uh, 
definitely some concerns in the draws. Uh, but look, you know, we're going to have those bad losses. So if our three game at a stretch uh, continues, and as long as I can continue to pull some points, we'll come back for Burn. Tell you what, let's come back for Liverpool Burnley because we've seen Man City, correct? Or am I misremembering? No, we did Sheffield and Tottenham. Haven't done Man City. But yeah, let's do uh let's do Burnley and Man City. Because we'll probably do we can do well, Burnley is down here. Eh, maybe I do Brighton and Liverpool and skip Burnley. Or do I do Brighton and Burnley here? I'm just thinking outside my head. I do want to do Brighton in that second game. Maybe we skip over. So where's Burnley here? One, two, three. Yeah, let's come back for Burnley and Man City. That'll also be after the transfer window. I'm not expecting a whole lot. Have we transferred anybody? Oh, we did uh, We did sell uh, Nicholas Hogland for 77000 to Frederickstad. He was a, a low-end uh, young striker for us. Uh, he wasn't going to ever make the team, 18-year-old Norwegian. So we sold him, and I would like would like to maybe sign one more midfielder, but I tell you what, Kenna looked really good, and I'm wondering if we need to do that now. Where does he fit on the depth chart? He's not even on there. I wouldn't mind Bogut's back. Can I get him back? I can recall him, but he's not lighting it up really in the Spanish second. I'm just sitting here trying to figure where we need somebody, but I'll look into that. Guys, hit that like button, subscribe. You know, that's the only thing I ask you guys to do. I don't ask you to hit a Patreon button or anything like that. Hell, I don't even have a Patreon. And I don't make money off of the ads, so I don't even know if you guys see ads because I'm an un... un uh, you know, I don't make any revenue, so they shouldn't show you guys ads, I would think, but they probably do. Uh, so for right now, if they're showing you ads, feel free to skip those because they don't need the money and they're not giving me any of it. So screw those guys, right? I mean, you know, that's fair. But, <laughs> but do seriously, let me know in the comments if you see ads on my channel. I'm just curious because I see ads on everybody else's channel, but, you know, that's me. We'll see you next episode, guys. Have a good one. Bye.